Hi, now we are going to see in a problem in control system. The, the problem is a system with the transfer function g of s that is equal to x square plus 9 s plus 2 divided by x s plus 1 s plus 3 s plus 4 is excited by sine omega t. The steady state output of the system is 0 at what value of omega we have to find the value of omega as assumed that the steady state output of the system is zero so we have to know that what is the steady state what is the condition for the steady state output as a condition for the steady state output we have that condition omega y of t equal to modulus of mod <coughs> modulus of modulus of g of j omega multiple of sin omega t plus modulus of g j omega here what we have is for condition of the steady state output we have the system formula that is system function value that is transfer function here look at look at here because it does not having the feedback so we take it as the g of x itself so g of s value we written in j omega g j omega sine that is sine value would be the input value that is input exited by sine omega t that value plus the value change the little bit value added for the value of that modulus of g j omega this is the condition for the steady state output here we have the another condition that steady state output of the system is zero so we can we should be equal to this this condition this y of t equal to zero if this y of t is zero what are the term makes this y of t equal to zero here we have g of j omega multiple of sine omega t plus modulus of g j omega it shows that we have two terms which is one of the terms going to be zero another term is come some real values so we have modulus of g j omega maybe zero because it does not containing any complexity values but here we have trigonometry function trigonometry function of sine sine only zero when the sine value getting pi by 2 that angle is getting the pi by 2 or it would be say as n pi by 2 value when sign getting sign n by pi by 2 value in this that value would be 0 so we said the directly say that modulus of g j omega would be 0 other than this sign value so we assumed that modulus of g j omega as must be 0 so we put the value we have to find the modulus of g j omega for this g of s so we will get modulus of s square plus 9 that is the this function written as written here it's directly here so that is the value is s square plus 9 s plus 2 and s divided by s plus 1 s plus 3 s plus 4 from this we have to find the modulus of each and every term modulus will well be given to that modulus of s square plus 9 and modulus of s plus 2 we can separate those values because it's uh, that that property that modulus value modulus function having that property so we have we can be applied that by applying that we will get the value of omega square power square plus 9 square in the inside of root so we will get that next term is root of s square plus 2 square divided by root of a y omega square plus 1 square multiple of root of omega square plus 3 square root of omega square plus 4 square this value we got from this modulus we are just applying the modulus value and putting this here here we have the omega square whole power square plus 9 square we can write it as omega square plus 9 whole power square so we written that root of omega square plus 9 whole square multiple of root of omega square plus 2 
2 square divided by omega square plus 1 square multiple of omega square root of omega square plus 3 square multiple of omega square plus 4 square from that we can say that these de denominator function does not have going to be zero if these any three of them three of the denominator prop terms getting zero means this g of j omega going to be infinitive that means we are not going as per the problem as, a, as per the problem we have to get the steady state output of the system should be zero so for that we have to get the numerator to be zero one of this term that is numerator term getting zero that's why we are getting my modulus of g j omega equal to zero from here so we are we can write write that root of omega square plus 9 whole square multiple of omega square plus 2 square equal to 0 from this we have to eliminate that which is not going to be non-zero and we have to have to be with us that 0 so we have here two terms first of all we have choose this term for elimination that is omega square plus 2 square here we have to substitute some kind of omega value some kind of omega values that should be real value that real value could be make the step to zero there is no way to find a real value to put make this term to zero because it's in the omega value omega whole square any value you put in minus or minus into minus we will get plus so if we know we we put the value of minus 2 here for omega we will get minus 2 whole power whole square plus 2 square that means 2 square plus 2 square we will get 4 only so we we can easily eliminate this term so we can say that omega square plus 9 because this root and this square can could be cancelled so we will get omega square plus 9 so as per the as per the uh, problem given to us is the the steady state output of the system is equal to zero and we want to find that omega value which makes the steady state output to be zero so we equivalent that omega square plus 9 equal to zero which give us omega square equal to 3 square we can say that minus also from that we will get we want to find the omega value which is we can cancel out these squares we will get omega equal to 3 radians per second this is the value of the omega for making the steady state output the output of the system is must be a zero for existing exceeding the sine omega t to this function thank you your comments are welcome